Well, hello everybody, Laguna back here for some more Talos, Talos Principle. We are coming back for the last star and the last four sigils. Oh, oh, oh boy. I am excited for this. I really am. I don't even think it is the last My star. My faith in you was not misplaced. Oh, it's a PS4. You have learned sure. much and shown great Wait, wisdom in these trials. The end of your journey lies close now. Do not falter. Your mom lies do close now. Do not fear. And do not give in to temptation. Ah, computer first. Our kitty journal. Team diminishing by the day. Proud of them nevertheless. Archive now incomprehensibly huge. Still missing thousands of works. Impossible to truly finish. Work already commenced on a sorting program to help catalog the archive resources in our absence. But like everything else, it has its foibles. Talk to Alexandra. Tell us going well. Maybe the Archive's first user will be terrestrial after all. Estimate about a week. Maybe ten days before I'm unable to keep working. Have a trail to leave early? Invention of Borders. I guess the Invention of Borders by Fatima Nguyen. What today's nationalists and neo-segregationists fail to understand, Kwame said, is that the basis of every human culture is and always has been synthesis. No civilization is authentic, monolithic, pure. The exact opposite is true. Look at your average Western nation. It's numbers Arabic, it's alphabet Latin, it's religion Levantine, it's philosophy Greek. Need to continue? And each of these examples can be itself be broken down further. The Romans got their alphabet from the Greeks, who created theirs by stealing from the Phoenicians, and so on. Our myths and religions too are syncretic, sharing, repeating, and adapting a large variety of elements to suit their needs. Even the language of our creation, the DNA itself, is impure, defined by a history of amalgamation. Not only between nations, but even between different human species. Hmm. Not wrong. Apocrypha is what it's called? No, no, not a Katie. <laughs> Apocrypha 9. Now Uriel pointed his sword to the tree of life, which grew in the heart of the dead Jerusalem. Behold, the tree grows still, though the city is dead. Within all that is mortal, there is the seed of immortality, for it is an immortal that fashioned it from chaos and void. Being a humble man of little wisdom, I asked. Great, Uriel. We are not allowed to eat from the tree of life. How may we then be saved? And Uriel commanded me to stretch out my hand, and he gave me his fiery sword, which burned my hand, and he said, Only by sacrifice can you free the world from the dominion of sin. With a prayer upon my lips, I fell upon Uriel's sword and it pierced my heart, and truly, on my body, the stigmata of the Lord appeared, dripping blood that was not my blood onto the ground. And the seven heads of the dragon that were crowned in black clouds receded, and light fell upon the earth, and Jerusalem was born again. Thus the angels departed, having delivered their message, and I awoke in the fields of our fair land. I feel like I did a really good job reading that story. All right, Drennan, what you got? God, there's no time. Just not enough time. Ugh. We're trying to build the future out of old video game code and half-finished research projects. We should have had years, maybe decades, with the kind of money they used to put into building bombs. Ugh. If I stop and think about how crazy this is, I will have a nervous breakdown. So I won't. She sounds yeah. like me. Okay, back to work, Alex. She actually sounds like me. Alright, let's see what we got going on. Fans, boxes, and this. Wait, what? Well, this is certainly a prison break. I am not going to sugarcoat that. Step one is this. I'm assuming this is one that I just need to get a second beam.
Maybe. Just maybe. Oh shit, forgot about that. Now let's try to start off with at least. Popping this in here. Now if I did pop this over for whatever reason. Wait a second. Ah, I know what I did to do. So this one I do need to put in here. This stretch out. doing that. Theoretically. And now I need two things. Actually, I think I can get away with something else. I should be able to just pop this here. And then this one. Cool. So I do only need just the one then. So then this fan I can just get rid of then. That's just a spare. So one. Two. 
And just in case I need them, may as well just pop them all open, right? Right. And just in case. Should be an extra something over here I don't need. Ah yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> this is a convoluted level, holy crap. Oh. Phew. I was very convoluted, but I enjoyed that one. That was that was a good one. I actually enjoyed that level. Now, just one play button one. I want to get that one done first. I think I saw it as this one, right? Yeah. Just a hate play button. Play button just terrible. Crisscross conundrum advanced. Okay. Now, the only thing I need to do within this gun, this instance here, is just get this conundrum solved. Which, in theory, should be easy. Because theoretically, if I were to drag this here. This one here. Oh, right. I need the play button in order to get hmm. catch twenty two. I think I know how to do this. So the trick is in part one, I drag this. Um, kind of here, I guess. And then this one, I drag here. Now, when I do playback, I can grab one of the beams. Connect here. Forgot about playback. Um, I mean, I could just let it go until five minutes, and then it would just automatically start playing back, right? So, I mean, that is one way I could handle this. Alternatively, I could also just...
This will give me time to run around, grab one beam, set up the blue one, grab another beam to set up the red one. Then while doing that, give myself another extra few seconds. So this way I can get through and like just set up those last couple of doors. Last, yeah. Oh. Okay, I think I should be able to get this now. Um. Cool. So, grab one beam, blue to blue, done. Grab the other beam to red. Really, man? Really? I know how to do it, it's just I need to do it. <laughs> I think it's because I made him move the beam that's what caused it. That would have been fine. Like, this would have been fine. Oh, shit. This is not going to be good. You know, let's just reset this. I'm not waiting another two minutes for this to fail. Cool, so the best way I can do this... Leave that there. I am. I, I have the right idea. I just need to get, get it. So it's at forty-one seconds now. I leave it there for one minute. Mm. So, how you guys doing? Mm-hmm. I'm doing well too, thanks. How did you know I how did I know you were gonna answer? I didn't. You probably didn't answer. But in the off chance that you did. Congratulations. You're now part of the wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. Anyway, I should be fine now. Alright, 
Alright, you move the thing. Put the thing in the thing. Right, I need to not do that. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, yeah, fucking yes. Oh, you toy, you toy, you. Fuck that entire level. Ah, done with time puzzles. Or do that one shit. Um. Boxes of beams, boxes and fans. I want to. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna end on the boxes and beams. I think that's a good one to end on. I'm pretty good with boxes and beams. That's fine there. I'm assuming this is one of those ones where I have to stack all the boxes on top of the one. Oh shit, wrong fucking button again. Great, crap. So I should be able to just pop this on top. There you go. I got this. That was probably one of the easiest puzzles I've ever had to do. I'm glad I didn't save that one for last. Whew. Now the last one. Dead man switch. Now I'm assuming I shouldn't make assum assumptions because assuming makes an ass out of you and me, blah blah blah. Ass you me, huh? Ooh, what's this? No. Oh, never mind. Nothing important. Um I'm assuming the dead man switch just means. Step one. Let's 
Step two. This is gonna baffle and confuse me. I love it, I'm here for it. Okay. Somewhere. I need to open up all everything and make it all blue. in here. That's blue as well. Oh, that's going to be dangerous. Dead man switch. Now, how do I do that? I'm assuming that there's something I have to do with this red thing. Because the red, I know it pushes the box. And the other one opens the door. But how do I open the door? Unless there's one other beam that I'm missing. Now, theoretically, though, that door is open. But take this. Is that door open or closed? Schrodinger's door. Nope, it's closed. Hmm. This is a bit of a tricky one. Okay, I'm glad this is the last one. This is a great one to end on. A second. So that's the first one. This is going to be a tight corner, guys. Slime. 
Yeah, that's kind of clipping through the wall a little bit, but that's okay. We can get, we can squeeze this one just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Yikes. Now doing that allows me to launch a box. Let's see how this one works. It's probably not going to, but we'll, we'll see how this works. Hmm. So now we get the fun stuff. So if the switch is what does it. Then I need to find a way to switch it to blue. But how do I switch it to blue? Oh, wait. I have the block now. I don't need to rely on that. Hmm. Dead Man Switch, it's called. If only I had a jammer of some sort.
Hmm. I don't like weird ones like this. I can do that. Now where this is called Dead Man Switch, I think I know what I need to do now. I need to find a way to keep the red light going out without going, you know. I hate these ones. Which actually this wouldn't be too bad if... Oh, wait, I think I know how to do this. I actually think I got this. It's called Dead Man's Switch because I literally have to switch them out. So that keeps that open. But then from here, boop, done. That gets me the last connector. Fuck. Sometimes it takes ages, doesn't it? I know the problem is between my ears. Yada yada. Thank Jesus the star. Oh. Forty-nine. Surprised the computer didn't turn on. And so it is done. You have overcome each trial that I set before you. You have shown faith and wisdom I don't think and I did. perseverance. Therefore, I judge you worthy, and I say unto you, come to the gates of eternity, where you shall be granted everlasting right? life. life, but it's like I still have those islands to do, I still have the sigil room to do, I still have a lot of shit to do. <sighs> I 
I have things I want to do in this game. Walking through the gates of eternity is not one of them. I want to take Elohim down. I'm going to do this in the next video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish those other islands, make sure I have everything I possibly can. Then, I'm going to walk through the gates of eternity, but, but after I back up my save file, just in case, because you know how Syncom's games are just like, oh, you beat the game, now you got to do it all over again if you want the other ending. Fuck that. Back up my save file, go through the gates, finish that ending, because I know that's going to be a different ending if I go in those doors versus if I were to, you know? Then I'm going to reload my save file, and instead of going in that door, Climb that tower and go. Yeah. That's the next step. But first, I need to go to those hidden worlds. The ones where I use the um, axe to, you know? I feel like that's my first step. I'm also kind of curious. Is this sigil room... Where is it? This one. How many things do I need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Eh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Fuck. Dead Man Switch. Now that was a puzzle. That is a puzzle to remember. I'm going to let this elevator take me up and I'm going to go back to World A so I can finish that last couple of things in World A. Cool. But on that side of things, I thank you guys for watching. As always, any recommendations, I'm happy to take those on. I feel like I'm back, I'm getting back in the rhythm now that I'm not doing overtime as much. I'm like, I'm actually getting energy and I'm, you know? But hey. May as well pop in and do a Sigil World, right? Right. To the next one. I'm excited for that.